All right, I'm going to talk about a value yeah, evaluating variable expressions involving integers. Let's remember some of the key words here. What an integer is. An integer, it's a number that looks like this, like a negative 3, a negative 2, a negative 1, a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, and so on and so forth. A variable. A variable is a letter or a symbol that is used to represent a number. A letter or symbol that represents a number. The common variable in algebra is usually x. We like x's a lot. Y's are pretty popular. As you get up into trigonometry, you'll start seeing things like um, symbols like a theta, is that a phi? Yeah, somebody's gonna watch this video and say, yeah, Mr. Barr, you completely do not know your Greek alphabet. And that's true, I don't know my Greek alphabet. I haven't taken calculus since college. Okay, I did take trig uh, in the last 10 years up. Here we go, so, oh, and parentheses. Now here's what you need to remember about parentheses, ready? Is that I heart parentheses. Parentheses are super solid. Use them all over the place. What you're going to see when I do this, every time I remove a variable, I'm going to put parentheses where it once was. Watch this in action. All right, I'm going to evaluate the expression negative 59 plus c, but c is going to turn into a number. I'm going to get rid of the c, and I'm going to put parentheses where it once was. Now I'm going to take the number 61, and I'm going to put it right there in the parentheses. Remember, I love my parentheses. 61. And now I'm going to evaluate this. Negative 59 plus 61. Well, I have more positives. I have 61 positives, 59 negatives. There's a difference there of 2, so this is positive 2. Let's try it again. Come down here. I am going to remove the U and put parentheses in its place. I'm going to remove, remove the V and put parentheses there, plus a U. I love parentheses. Now I'll start plugging it in. I have a U. Well, U is 2, so it's going to go here, and U. And I need a V, which is negative 14. And now I will evaluate the expression using correct order of operations. Handle that exponent, that's a 4 times negative 14 plus 2. 4 times negative 14, is that negative 56 plus 2. That's going to take me, I have more negative, so it's negative 54, negative 54. And there are my lights. <sighs> Let's try another one. My variable is m. I am going to replace m with parentheses. And I'm keeping those absolute value bars, plus 62. I'm taking the negative 45, putting it into the parentheses. And now I will evaluate it. 
I need to know what the absolute value of 45 is. Excuse me, the absolute value of negative 45, which is 45. So this is negative 2 times 45. Plus 62. 2 times 45, well that's 90, but it's a negative 2. So it's a negative 90. My answer is going to be a negative. So what's it take me to get from a 62 up to a 90? 62, 72, 82, what's that? 28, negative 28. Sorry, let's see. 62, 28, come up to the side here. Yep, 90, that works. That works. There we go. Is that it for that one? That's it for that one. Bye-bye. Mm,